Hi everyone, welcome to Med Sketch. Today we are going to cover paracetamol or acetaminophen poisoning. For the ease, we have named the scene as Fen's village. Fen is our main character of the story and it relates with acetaminophen so that you can remember it with ease. So, category of paracetamol or acetaminophen is analgesic or antipyretic. We haven't displayed in the sketch as you all know about its action and you have probably studied in your pharmacology so uh, we can see our main character fen who is wearing a yellow colored shirt and he is holding a tin can of soft energy drink which is named as ace it is representing that acetaminophen is metabolite of phenacetine fen is holding a tin so you can remember that acetaminophen is the metabolite of phenacetin. So now we are talking about the fatal dose and the fatal period of acetaminophen. So you can see a board on the right side that is announcing the fare, fare on 3520. So that is a date that is representing the fatal period as well as the fatal dose. So the fatal dose of paracetamol tablets is 20 tablets you can relate it with the year and the month and the date represent the fatal period of the tablets three to five hours is the fatal period of acetaminophen and 20 tablets is the fatal dose so you can relate it with ease from this diagram so as you can see Fen is holding an ox also. So now we are going to talk about the mechanism of action. So Fen is holding an ox which is labeled number two and number three on its horns. So the number two and number three tags on the horn are representing the mechanism of action. So basically uh, acetaminophen is COX-2 and COX-3 inhibitor. So you have to remember that the antipyretic effect is due to COX-3 inhibition in the hypothalamus and the analgesic effect is due to COX-2 inhibition in the peripheral nerves. So the horns and the tags are representing the mechanism of action so let's talk about sign and symptoms so basically they are divided into three stages that are represented with the child that is having labels of number one two and three the same child that is shown vomiting in the figure so number one two and three are basically stages so you can see that uh, we have labeled from number one two three starting from the mouth and to the abdominal region and then to the para-abdominal region. So the stage one represented by the number one in the head region shows the symptoms of severe vomiting. So the second stage occurs after 24 hours usually and it is characterized by epigastric pain and hepatic symptoms as well. As you can see the number two symbol is along the epigastrium region and the boy is hold also holding his epigastrium. Stage 3 is represented by encircled liver in the diagram that is representing hepatic failure that is seen in 3 to 5 days if left untreated. So these were the three stages. Stage 1 is represented by severe vomiting. Stage 2 is represented by epigastric pain and hepatic symptoms and third stage is represented by hepatic failure. So let's move on to the post-mortem appearance. It is represented by the boy in extreme left that is looking to the rash on his arm and is also having red dots on the shirt. The red dots on the shirt represent petechial hemorrhages as you have seen the organophosphate video. We represented the same red dots and related it with petechial hemorrhages. So it's the same case here. The red dots here are representing petechial hemorrhages and the rash is representing the skin rash that is seen in the post-mortem finding. Also you can see bleeding in the abdominal region and also there is blood on the ground that is representing GIT blade. The rotted liver represents the hepatic necrosis. Also there is a red bag that is resembling the shape of our stomach and few tablets are coming out of its mouth. So in the previous phase water was stored in old leather bags. So this leather bag is also having water and few tablets are 
oozing out of it so it represents that in the post mortem examination paracetamol tablets are found in the stomach of the deceased person talking about the medical legal importance the medical legal importance of paracetamol is not much significant few cases of accidental poisoning are reported so let's talk about management of paracetamol poisoning so we are using character from the previous animation so you can remember it easily number 1 you can see our decontamination girl with the mop from our video of organophosphate that was representing decontamination so the number 1 management would be decontamination you have to remove the person from that scene you have to open the clothes and you have to wash with alkaline water or tap water so the first step would be decontamination you can also see our classical gastric lavage bottle just behind the old bag that is representing the gastric lavage the second step would be the gastric lavage thirdly you can see triangular flags that are hanging on a rope between the trees with letters i p e c a c representing the syrup of ipecac that is usually given in the acetaminophen poisoning fourthly you can see a boy named meth with the letter m on the shirt with his teen sister that is holding a book with the letter n so the boy meth is representing here methionine and his teen sister that is holding a book with letter n is representing an acetyl cysteine so the boy is representing methionine and the sister is representing an acetyl cysteine both of which are used as antidote to paracetamol poisoning the boy is also holding a shovel on a charcoal dump that represent activated charcoal that is also used along methionine and n-acetyl cysteine as an antidote also you can see our first aid box along the boy that was also in the organophosphorus video that was representing the supportive treatment so let's summarize the treatment it's been a lot so number one we are going for the decontamination secondly we are going for the gastric lavage thirdly we are going to give syrup of ipecac fourthly we are going to give antidotes including methionine and acetyl cysteine activated charcoal and the rest of the management is based on supportive treatment so here was the video of acetaminophen poisoning i have tried to explain it in a simple way if you have any question just drop in the comment section till then take care for detail literature of toxins refer our textbook excel forensic medicine and toxicology available at all major medical bookstore all over pakistan